Itch is a really unusual story for an opera. The, the hero is a, a teenager, and that's not so common. There is a kind of love interest, but the love is to do with science and nature. It's a, a quest, it becomes a quest. So there's a, you know, he's a bit of a loner, this teenager, who goes on a journey and finds himself in a situation where he really has to save the world. This is the first time one of Simon Mayer's novels has been turned into an opera, so I'm, I'm hoping he's very excited about that. Um, he has seen Itch as a television series, but of course that's something you watch perhaps alone or at most with your family. So this experience of sitting down in, in Opera Holland Park with hundreds of other people and seeing his own story come to life in a completely new medium and a, uh, in a completely unexpected way, I hope that's going to be really thrilling. Well, the amazing thing about Itch is this discovery of a completely new element. And for a composer, of course, that makes you wonder, well, what's that going to sound like? And so I had to write the piece to find out. We've got quite a small orchestra in uh, Itch, in, in the pit, there's, there's 12 instruments. Um, 12 instruments can actually do a lot of things and produce a lot of colours. But I had the feeling that for this new element, we were going to need a new sound altogether. And so in fact, I, I got somebody to create a special sound um, just for this opera. Um, and obviously to hear it, you have to come and see the show. Simon Mayer wrote these, uh, the, the itch books for his son, first of all. And so he had a, a teenage audience in mind. Uh, but I think the story has a, a universal appeal, and I'm hoping that, um, well, opera lovers of all ages will come. I'm hoping, obviously, that uh, loyal supporters of Holland Park will be very curious to come and see the show. But I hope also that people who have perhaps never been to the opera and never thought that opera was for them or have just not connected with it in any way will be interested enough in the story and just curious about, well, what would that be like if they were singing? And uh, so I'd like to think that there will be some newcomers. So there'll be a, a, some, some new audience for this piece. Operas are a kind of relay race. And in a way, the first person who took up the baton here was, uh, was Simon Mayer by writing the book. Um, and then James Clutton read uh, the Itch books on holiday, I think, and he just had this feeling, oh, this could be an opera. Um, he passed it on to me. Uh, I said, yes, this is, this is an opera that I'd like to write. So the first step was working with my regular collaborator, Alistair Middleton, who wrote the words for the opera, uh, to try and work out, well, which scenes uh, are we going to tell in the opera? Because we can't do the whole book. So there are now kind of four people in the conversation, um, and we all talk together about how we're going to tell this story. Uh, but really the baton is, is with Alistair, he then does his work, I then do my work, and then finally I hand it to uh, all of the singers and the conductor and the, and the band, and it goes out into the world. Well, while I'm writing music for an opera, I, I have to see something, I'm, so I'm imagining something, but it's a bit like a movie, uh, so it's quite naturalistic. I know that in the theatre, it's going to look completely different from anything that I'm seeing. And there's a whole new element <laughs> uh, that comes into play. Um, I've seen the preliminary designs for the set for it, which I think just looks fantastic. So I, I can't wait to see it. And I know that um, everything that the director and the designer have come up with um, will just be way beyond anything that I could have imagined. <laughs>